Hey, what's up, guys? David here from Dignited, continuing with our Chromebook series. Today, I want to show you how you can check on your CPU and memory usage. All right, let's get into it. So if you own a Chromebook or generally any laptop, once in a while, you may want to check on your memory and CPU usage. That's important when you want to know which apps and services you can optimally run on your Chromebook. And also it's helpful when you need to diagnose a slowing laptop or Chromebook, you know. Now, before we get into knowing your RAM and uh, CPU usage, uh, you really want to understand your Chromebook specs. The easiest way to know uh, what your Chromebook specs are is really to visit your vendor's website. For example, I have a Galaxy Chromebook and I can just visit the Samsung website and check out my laptop specs. So let me just do that right now and show you. So let's go to, let's just Google Galaxy Chromebook Go specs. This should uh, let me get to the Samsung website right here okay this is the product page so i can just scroll down specs the specs are right here so just know your chromebook model and brand and then just google it up and check out the specs the other way that you can find out your chromebook specs is uh, simply go to chrome systems page here they should be able to show you some specifications about your uh, hardware. So let's check out mine here real quick. Okay, now it has loaded. And since we are interested in CPU and memory or RAM, uh, just simply search memory here. Yes, you can uh, see this field here, memory SPD info, just expand. And as you can see, it's showing that I have a DDR4 RAM chip and it is uh, 4096 MBs. That's about, that's about 4 GB RAM, right? And I can even get into the memory info here and expand. And this shows even more details about uh, my memory specifications. And if I want to know what uh, processes are actually consuming how much memory i can expand on the mem usage tab here although there is a much better tool to see those specs i'll be showing you in a bit okay so if we want to get into the cpu info just search for cpu info here and then expand and you should be able to see some of these specs as you can see here the model name is intel celeron n4500 at uh, 1.1 gigahertz and it's a uh, dual core as you can see the cpu cores here are two so this is a modest chromebook it's an entry level chromebook and that determines you know how much i can push it how many chrome chrome tabs i can open or how many uh, services that i can run on it concurrently so that's really important. Okay, now onto the juicy part. We now want to uh, check out our system usage on a bit of more graphical uh, user interface. So the Chrome, the Chromebook has a diagnostic app uh, which has this information. It's built into every Chromebook if you have the latest uh, version. So let's just uh, open that using the, the um, app launcher. You can just search for it it's called diagnostics and right here you can see it uh, has the battery section and gives you um, uh, my battery capacity here and also its health and whether it's charging or discharging you can see cpu this is what we're interested in again it shows you the the cpu brand and model it's an intel Ceron n4500 a dual core and down here, it has a, gra a graph, just graphs the current CPU usage. As you can see, it's currently maxing at 50%, the temperature, uh, the current speed, and so forth. 
and as you scroll down here you have memory which is the same as ROM and it shows you how much memory you have in total and what is available so I have roughly 4 GB of RAM available or installed on the motherboard and right now I have about 500 MBs of free storage and you can see with the graph right here all right so this is really helpful uh, to get an overview of uh, the resource usage on your Chromebook but if you really want to dig into what exactly is consuming my RAM, what exactly is consuming my CPU circles, how can you do that? So Chrome has that feature built in as well. You can use the Chrome Task Manager. To access it, open the Chrome browser, then come to settings here, which is the three little dots, and then come to more tools. Then down here, you'll see Task Manager. So simply click on the task manager and you have let me just maximize that right you have a whole window here opened up which has all the processes that are running on your chromebook that includes chrome tabs as well as chrome apps for example i have the the files app right here so you have all the processes here and if you want to know what is really uh, taking up your CPU circles, come to CPU here. You can see a carat icon here. Click on it. This uh, arranges the processes in ascending and descending order. That is in the order of CPU usage. Right. And uh, yeah, you can browse through here. And if you're interested in memory or RAM usage, again, click on it. This arranges uh, the processes in accordance to how much RAM each process is using. Cool. And of course, you have the end process button here, which ends or kills a process, a particular process that you wish to stop. All right. So what really takes up a lot of memory and CPU on your Chromebook? Well, there are a number of things. One, that could be watching videos in high resolution, specifically 4K. That really takes a toll on the CPU usage. Then if you're browsing websites that are not optimized well or that are not designed well probably they have malware or they have weird scripts that are running in the background that are consuming cpu then also the other thing that could be taking up cpu and ram is if you have too many browser tabs open now i fall a victim of this quite a lot and i can't help it so yeah that's really important then the other thing is if you have so many chrome extensions installed and enabled on your chromebook that could be taking up a lot of um, uh, resources. All right, I want to just show you how my CPU can get up by simply playing a 4K video from YouTube. So let's just do that. Let me open YouTube and search for a 4K video. So I think I identified one, which is Costa Rica in 4K, all right. By default, it plays in HD, but I'm just going to change that resolution to 4K. So it's right here. I'm just going to change that to 4K. All right, so there you go. My CPU really increases from about 50% to 75% when I play a 4K video on YouTube. Now, I could also open our website there's a website that i know that is really high on cpu and i won't mention which website it is but i'm just going to show it to you for demo purposes okay so let me just open it right now all right and as you can see my cpu just went up to almost a hundred percent when i opened this particular website which is totally unoptimized cool the other tool i want to show you guys is a chrome extension called cog uh, let me just show it here cog yeah it's a chrome extension it's uh i kind of find it cute and nice it shows whatever information that i need in a very nice but brief way as you can see, I have my Chrome version here. I have the platform, the particular CPU model, the architecture, 
and then uh, you also have external uh, storage you have memory here or RAM usage and then network information uh, the battery and so forth of course we are interested in memory usage here and you can see it by uh, the graph and the CPU is also is it's also in real time the temperature and also the usage you can see the the bars uh, moving up and down yeah so this Chrome extension is called COG and you can basically just download it from the Google Web Store and have it on your system and it will show you uh, CPU and memory usage. All right, so this has been how you can view your CPU and memory usage on your Chromebook. If you find value in this video, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.